Hey everyone, Kathy Man here, and today we are going over another new product release. This one's been around for a couple of weeks, and it actually really hasn't showed up in any stores near me, which is weird because Coke is usually really good with their distribution, but it took a while to get the Body Armor Edge, which is body armor with caffeine and electrolytes. Coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night, as well as one on the weekends. If you'd like to show more support for the channel and gain early access to Tuesday videos, as well as the Caffeine Man rating chart, I'll include a link down below to my Patreon, where you can sign up for as little as $1. And let's get this out of the way. Most of you are probably wondering why I'm covered up a little bit. It's because I was actually just doing some boxing, get a little sparring going, you know? trying to get into shape. And as much as I would like that to be true, it is not. The only fighting that I did was with some poison ivy and it was pretty bad. Even though you can probably still see some red spots and everything, I did my best. But you guys can just pretend that I'm boxing through this review since I'm always throwing my hands around everywhere. I'll probably be less hand motions this time. So in today's video, we're going over Body Armor Edge, which is body armor plus caffeine and electrolytes. It's been out for a few weeks now and it is still not in stores near me. Luckily enough, Energy Drink Josh was able to send these to me. So a big shout out to Energy Drink Josh for helping me out once again. Josh always sending me drinks when I can't find them. So definitely feel free to check Energy Drink Josh out on Instagram. He posts pictures nearly every day of different energy drinks. If you don't have an Instagram, he also has a Twitter account. You're bound to find something you haven't heard of before. Thanks again to Energy Drink Josh. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Body Armor Edge, talk about some of the ingredients in these drinks, and move on to the taste test. But the taste test is gonna be just a little bit different. One of my subscribers, who's a Coke employee, recommended that I actually do a comparison between the regular flavor and the Edge flavor, so you can see kind of what the differences are in the flavor. Therefore, the first one I'm gonna try out is gonna be the Power Punch, and I'm actually gonna compare it to the Fruit Punch and see how they differ. Then we'll try out the remaining flavors. Timestamps and chapters down below, so you can go where you wanna go. Body Armor was founded in 2011 by Lance Collins, and that name may sound familiar to you because I've already mentioned him a few times. Not only is he the founder of Body Armor, but he is also the founder of Fuse Beverage Company, as well as the creator of Nas Energy Drink. And most recently, Adrenaline Shock. This guy knows his stuff. And in 2018, Coca-Cola purchased a minority stake in the Body Armor Company. And now everyone thinks that Coca-Cola makes it, which isn't necessarily true, but it is close enough. They're friends. Some people like to say Coke owns Monster or Monster owns Coke, but it's not the case. Companies just like to buy stakes and shares in other companies, and they're friends who share the profits. But what is Body Armor? Well, basically it was created to compete with Gatorade and Powerade, the two biggest names in sports drinks, and Body Armor wanted to change that up a bit. And change things up they did, because between 2011 and 2018, they were so successful that as I just mentioned, Coca-Cola purchased a minority stake in the company, even though Coca-Cola already had power Aid. And the beauty behind Body Armor is that they had the advantage of seeing what was working and what wasn't working in Gatorade and Powerade, and they could improve on what customers want and take out what customers didn't want. As Body Armor grew in popularity, they added more lines based on customer feedback. They created Body Armor Light, which is sort of their diet version of Body Armor. They also have Body Armor Water, and this one, Body Armor Edge, the one with caffeine. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ingredients in Body Armor Edge. In looking at the Nutrition Facts panel, you'll see that this 20 ounce bottle has 180 calories, zero fat, 50 milligrams of sodium, 45 carbs, 44 grams of sugar, and 42 of those grams being added sugar. So we're looking at some, some high sugar content here. And zero protein. For your vitamins and antioxidants, they are giving you a ton. You're gonna be getting 20% of your daily value of both potassium and magnesium, 90% of your daily value of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, E, as well as zinc. And you're gonna get 250% of your daily value of the remaining ones, which are niacin, folate, panthenic acid, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12. So yeah, you got some vitamins and antioxidants in there for sure. For some of your additional ingredients, you're gonna be looking at 10% coconut water. And for the sugar, they actually use mostly pure cane sugar. This 20 ounce bottle has 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. So it's half the amount of your standard energy drink, which is 10 milligrams per ounce. They're giving you five milligrams per ounce. So you're certainly not gonna get super hyped up from it, but it's gonna give you a nice little bit of energy. Also, there are plenty of people who are sensitive sensitive to caffeine or just looking for lower caffeinated beverages and this will be perfect for them. But when you're trying to figure out exactly how much 100 milligrams is in a 20 ounce container and try and compare it to some other things, at five milligrams per ounce, you're looking at about the same amount of caffeine that you get in your standard cup of tea. An eight ounce cup of black tea usually has about 40 milligrams of caffeine. 
which is five milligrams per ounce. So yeah, 100 milligrams of caffeine, lots of vitamins, lots of electrolytes, everything that you'd want in a sports drink. But how do they taste? Let's taste them out. So like I said, I'm gonna start off doing a comparison between the original Body Armor Fruit Punch and see how the flavor differs from the Power Punch Body Armor Edge. Not a ton of differences between these drinks. Obviously this one has caffeine, this one does not. But the Edge actually has more electrolytes too. The Edge has 1,033 milligrams of electrolytes, whereas the original only has 820 milligrams of electrolytes. Still a lot. Also, the original is a 16 ounce bottle compared to the 20 ounce bottle, and it does have less sugar. Not because it's a smaller bottle, but they just use a less concentrated amount. So there's 28 grams of sugar in here. When you divide that by 16, you're getting about 1.75 grams of sugar per ounce. The Body Armor Edge has 45 grams of sugar. When you divide that by 20, you get 2.25 grams of sugar per ounce. So you're getting a higher sugar concentrate out of the Body Armor Edge. And one of their big things for marketing is that they don't have any artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. We're gonna do the original in this hand, power punch in this hand. Oh, original. And edge. Identical in color. I don't taste much of a difference at all. Considering some of the only differences are that one has caffeine and one doesn't, you definitely can't taste any caffeine in here at all because it's such a minuscule amount for 20 ounces. They both have a decent fruit punch flavor. I'm not overly familiar with fruit punch flavors in sports drinks. Me personally, I like something maybe a little bit more fruity, maybe a little bit sweeter. And even though this has 45 grams of sugar, it's not tasting like it has 45 grams of sugar like some drinks I've had. I'm gonna go in, finish up these last two, and see if I can find any more differences. I mean, yeah, to me, they pretty much taste the same. I can't really get much of a difference out of it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried both of these and you tasted a difference because I thought that the Coke employee was telling me I should do a comparison because they would taste different. He might have been tricking me into buying more. Oh, if he gets a commission in my state, oh, he's going to hear about it. <laughs> Just kidding. Heck, if I'm helping him out, hopefully he buys from Campus Protein. And did you guys know that if you actually purchase something at Campus Protein, you can save 10% off your entire order using coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10? I am a Campus Protein rep, so I do get a small commission from every purchase there. So feel free to check them out. They really got some really great prices on most of your energy drinks. So not only will you be saving money, you'll also be helping out Caffeine Man. I'll include a link down below. So let's go ahead and taste out the rest. Before we move on to the next one, where's this going to be going on the Caffey Man rating chart? It's not your standard energy drink here. It is a sports drink with caffeine in it, lots of vitamins, lots of electrolytes, and technically by definition how they define energy drinks, it's really, really close. Some would say, well, maybe it's a non-carbonated energy drink, but whatever the definition is, it doesn't really matter. You know what's in it. You know what it tastes like. I am going to give this an 8.4. When it comes to these kinds of drinks, I'm not really overly into fruit punch, and it didn't really remind me of a solid fruit punch flavor, like, like when I drink regular fruit punch. It seemed a lot lighter. Definitely wasn't bad, but probably not one of my favorite favors to pick up. Next one up is going to be the Orange Frenzy. All right, this is okay too. It reminds me of um like of like like an, an orange drink. Not like an orange juice, but like like an orange water kind of thing. Similar to more like a rather than orange juice, maybe more of a sunny D kind of feel to it. Or even like those orange punches that you make yourself, like maybe like the 4C, you mix it up together. But also once again, uh, lighter on the flavor. I think maybe they have their own body armor flavor or you know, I know Powerade has their own Powerade flavor. Same thing with Gatorade. You can tell each one of those drinks because they have their own signature to their flavors. And I think that actually Body Armor is giving you a little bit of that Body Armor feel. When you drink it, you know it's not Powerade, you know it's not Gatorade. As for what I think about it, uh, I'm not used to having uh, sports waters. I'm used to having things like energy drinks, basically. But uh, you know, if you compare it to the Hydro waters that came out by a Monster, I would say these are uh, similar. I think the actual Hydro original line from Monster was a bit stronger in flavor than these are. I think that's the only thing that's lacking in here is uh, that I'm, I'm feeling that there's a lack of flavor. It's definitely an orange flavor. I'm just looking for something more potent, but maybe that's not their thing. 
it's a sports water, so they might want it to taste more like water with a little bit of flavoring of whatever the flavor is. So where's it gonna be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I'm gonna give this an 8.1. I like the fruit punch just a little bit better. When it comes to orange, not one of my top flavors. So if you get a watered down orange, it is still not one of my top flavors. Next one up is gonna be the Tropical Chaos. I actually uh, tried to do these in order from what I think I'm gonna like the least to what I like the best. It's not going that way so far, but uh, Tropical seems promising. Tropical usually has uh, those natural flavors, you know, pineapples and stuff. And I think pineapple and water would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and taste it out. I miss the cracking open of a can sound though. It's gonna go this whole review without cracking open a can. Taste it out. So I'm seeing the theme here. Uh, they're definitely, for 45 grams of sugar, they definitely don't taste like they're that sweet. If I'm gonna be having a drink with 45 grams of sugar, I really do wanna be tasting the sweetness in it. But maybe because it's pure cane sugar, or maybe because it's in 20 ounces. You get a sugar drink like Red Bull with 12 ounces, you're gonna taste that sugar. 20 ounces, not so much. You are getting that tropical feel from it. You are getting that light pineapple flavor from there and you're getting some light other tropical flavors in there. And so far, they're pretty much hitting the mark with the flavors. They're just a lot lighter in flavor than the usual energy drinks that I'm used to having. So where's it gonna be going? On uh, the Caffeine Man rating chart. I'm gonna give this one an 8.6. Like it the best so far out of the three. One more to go. Last one up is the Berry Blitz. Last one, let's taste it out. Yeah, looks like I was completely wrong the whole time. I went in the wrong order. Um, the berry is, uh, it, all these flavors taste like they're watered down flavors, which makes sense because they're sports waters. But the berry flavor in here, it's not very berrylicious to me. I really like to get a strong, solid, sweet berry flavor. And you're getting more towards the natural flavor of berries in this one. And there's something about the body armor flavor that overall in general, uh, it carries through the line, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So, where's it gonna be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. Overall, for all four drinks, a 7.5 being the lowest one isn't a bad score at all. And considering most of them were in the eights, it's an all around pretty good drink, but they're just not really for me. I'll stick to my energy drinks. And of course, I know there are gonna be some people that say, well, hey, now that you did those, why haven't you tried the Bolt yet? They're relatively new and they have caffeine in them. And I had all intentions on reviewing them. I even bought them until I got home and noticed that they actually have Stevia in them and I can't have anything with Stevia in it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Because they got their own signature to them. Because they got their own signature to the. Because they have their own signature. Because they have their own signature to their flavor. Because they have their own signature to their flavor, sort of. So where's this one going to be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? My voice just did. My voice just go really high. That felt like it did. I'm going to do that again.